Before we get into the video, people, I am giving away 11,500 Apex coins every single month. To be with a chance to win them, make sure you are subbed to this channel and have that bell notification button ticked. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. More details are in that video description. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today, I bring you another Apex Legends video and today I want to discuss the Wingman and give you guys my opinion on this beast. Discuss uh, the point I'm seeing so many people bring up on social media about this thing being overpowered is the wingman overpowered today i give you my opinion but before we go any further guys if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support you can by hitting that like button and if you are new around here and enjoy these daily apex legend videos be sure to subscribe okay so the wingman the monster the beast the hand cannon of apex legends which has been the vocal point for many in regards to weapon balance in the game i've seen people complaining i've seen people complaining about the complaints i've seen people complaining about the complaints about the complaining and in all reality people the apex community is is completely split over this weapon i pulled out a poll on twitter the other day asking whether this thing should be nerfed and the replies were amazing people saying it should be people saying leave it alone blah 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 well here is where i stand on the wingman so i've used this from the start played many of games with it uh, got a few decent kills too including a few squad wipes here and there but for me the weapon feels so inconsistent compared to others now sometimes it seems I can't miss a shot, other times I couldn't hit a fat dude from a few feet away and it's been like this on a consistent basis since I've started playing the game. It's like it suffers from major bullet bloom, something we have seen in Destiny games of the past. So although it seems like you are landing shots, they don't seem to register. And to be honest for a weapon that is as powerful as the wingman, which is very powerful by the way, this bullet bloom it seems to have could be a way of keeping it from being stupidly broke by respawn. I mean, I know I ain't the only one who seems like they're landing shots with a wingman, but it just seems like bullets are going through people. It seems to have little to none aim assist whatsoever. And like I said, that bullet balloon seems out of this world. Now I'm talking from a perspective on console here. I know I've seen it on PC and people don't miss with it, but I'm talking from a console player's perspective. So how powerful and how fast can the wingman kill? So on screen now we can see a few of this weapon's stats. So we can see on the far left, it does 45 body shot damage. Headshot damage, it does 90. Bracket stat is with the school piercer attachment. We also see time to kill with and without the school piercer attachments against every type of helmet from common to legendary. Bracket score, yeah, is obviously with the school piercer attachment equipped. So here we can see just how powerful this weapon can be. Even when you come across an enemy with an epic or legendary helmet, you can still kill them in 0.65 seconds, taking only 3 headshots. And don't forget the epic and legendary helmets take away 25% of the headshot damage. The wingman still though does 84 damage to the cranium if you have that school piercer attachment on it, allowing it to almost free shot any target to the face. But guys, even without the school piercer, you can still free tap enemies no matter the helmet they have on as long as all shots hit the head, again capable of killing an enemy in 0.65 seconds with the best helmet you can have on. Even crazier when you think about it is this thing's range too. The range is just absolutely nuts. With that 2 times sight I'm seeing, everybody love with this. It does indeed work incredible and that's why it's a fan favourite. And it just allows you to make those longer shots much, much easier. But people, I will say it again. On paper, yes, it's amazing. And although it's truly capable of killing this quick, for me, it is an inconsistent weapon, which has a lot of bloom and just has not much aim assist whatsoever. But it feels like it don't anyway. In the right hands, on console and on PC, the weapon is on another level, that is for sure. But to the standard player, it doesn't have that same effect. Yes, it's incredible. Yes, it kills super fast. Yes, it's a hand cannon, which in my opinion takes a lot of skill to use. But even so, it still can be very inconsistent to even the best of players. I've said this numerous times, I don't feel a nerf is needed on this weapon. I could point you in the direction of many weapons that if used at the right time from the right distances can kill this quick. The wingman is supposed to be a weapon to use at close to medium ranges. It should be able to kill relatively quickly when you consider the weapons you will come up against at close to mid range. Things like the peacekeeper that can basically one shot you. So in my opinion if you have the skill to kill somebody at close range who has a peacekeeper because you can land through headshots then fair play to you. Being super accurate while under fire at close range while using the hand cannon where you have to pick your shots is pretty hard in my opinion and it's something only the best of players can achieve. And I've seen it many, many times before. When a weapon becomes popular and more and more people start using it, we see many people calling for a nerf. This is not the answer at all. The answer is to make other weapons be able to compete. 
Why ruin something that doesn't need ruining when you can make other things feel better and make people feel better while using them? That's the answer. The impression Respawn will give going forward is super important for the Apex Legends community. We need to see the devs are listening to everybody, not just the people complaining, the ones calling for a nerf, because when nerfing weapons in reality when they ain't even that bad, is not the answer and this is coming from a destiny player and you guys will know if you've ever played a destiny game when people start complaining about a certain weapon bungie always seemed until recently to almost fortnite style and vault the weapon they'd nerf it that bad i could literally sit here all day naming weapons that this has happened to and it seriously affected the game in the long run for sure bungie saw sense and stopped nerfing weapons into the ground but instead started buffing everything else and that is the answer with the wingman yes it's a very powerful weapon in the right hands but I'd say 85% of the weapons in the game are the same, in the right hands. So yeah, don't make a feel good weapon feel bad because people are complaining about it. Make the feel bad weapons feel good so everybody is happy. And to be honest people, I'd take the carbine over the wingman any day of the week. Spitfire too, because when I come up against someone using the wingman, to me it feels like most of the time it's a fair battle. And even if I come out of the battle down and out, I instantly say and think fair play. Dude has nasty accuracy with that wingman because my accuracy isn't bad. So if I'm landing pure headshots and chest upward shots and I still die first to someone using a wingman, that's nobody's fault but my own. So if you are good with a wingman, fair play to you. The weapon don't work for me consistently like it seems to for a lot of players out there. But even if you ask them, I guarantee you guys, they'd still say they are seeing bullet bloom. They're still missing shots that should be hitting. And sometimes the weapon will not work for them and they will lose a gunfight. The wingman in my opinion is a weapon that requires a certain level of skill to perfect and that's basically how I feel about it. Now if a nerf was to come I truly hope that nerf would do nothing to the weapon in terms of damage, bloom, aim assist, mag size or even making it a rare weapon to find. The only nerf I can honestly say I wouldn't have an issue with is its damage fall off because at the moment it's non-existent. It does have absolute crazy range which I'm fine with as long as it isn't doing the same damage within 10 foot as it is in within 50 foot. I know it drops off a little, but it doesn't drop off enough in my opinion. And when you can outgun a sniper at a certain range, fire quicker as well, eyebrows will raise. But other than that, please respawn, leave the weapon be. And this is the opinion of somebody who doesn't even enjoy using it that much. So yeah guys, that is my opinion on the wingman. You tell me what you think about this weapon down below in that comment section. Do you think it needs a nerf? Do you think respawn should leave it alone? Tell me why. But on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really does help out. If you are new around here and enjoy those daily Apex Legend videos, like guides, top fives, news, reviews, community highlights, just about everything, make sure you subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.